So I'm going, as Thomas said, uh, I'm uh, going to share with you a general overview on uh, social well-being and urban green spaces. So uh, we, we try to share together to understand some concept uh, that normally we use when we talk about the social well-being and urban green spaces. So when we talk about health, we all know now that according to WHO, health promotion is the process of enabling people to increase control over and to improve their health. Over years, health has been no more defined as a lack of disease, but mainly, I would say, mainly the capability of individual to face daily life difficulties, not only in order to be healthy, but also to improve her, her general well-being. In this framework, we can define health promotion as focuses on the individual well-being, taking into consideration the totality of the pleasure and pains. In other words, in other words, I I would like to prefer to talk about the quality of life. We can, according to, to Amartya Sen, that most of us know as an economist and philosopher, well-being can be defined as the freedom of choice to achieve valuable functionings, which one has a reason to value most for his or her personal life. Functionings can go, are very different. So can go from very elementary ones, such as being well nourished, having house, avoiding premature mortality or serious disease. We know very well in these days, in this uh, last year, how, what, how, how important it is to avoid the premature mortality or serious diseases like COVID-19, for instance. But, we can also consider more complex and sophisticated achievement as self-respect, living the community life, being happy, living in a green environment. That is the focus of our academy today. So well-being is the capability to achieve different functionings that depends on individual opportunities and autonomy to act, that are conditioned also by social and economic barrier and constraints. So well-being outcomes are not only personal, but they are affected by incomes, employment, health, but also the quality of place of living, included the quality and quantities, as Thomas showed before, the difference between quality and quantity of green spaces in urban context. Strongly connected to individual well-being, we find a social well-being. As people are mutually dependent, they need, we need to rely on others, to be loved, to be, to give love. So social capital uh, is part of a social cohesion. So people possess a certain amount of economic, social, cultural, and psychological and health capital. All this amount constitutes individual capability and in turn impact on people well-being over time. According to Putman, social capital can be defined as the level of trust in other people and the social networks people are involved in, but also the membership of association and organization. The concept of a social cohesion has been defined in different ways, but in my opinion, it could be synthesized as the sense of togetherness, resilience, and orientation toward the common goods and involves feeling, feelings of trust, acceptance, belonging, and connectedness. 
Individuals can access resources to increase the sense of connection among people via membership in a group on community. Among other factors, social cohesion helps to increase individual social and psychological capital with a positive impact on individual well being. Study, and we have a certain amount of literature on this, show how social cohesion is associated with various physical and psychological health benefits on general population, but also on a specific group. So we have a lot of literature talking about the benefits on all the people, for instance. So when we talk about the social cohesion and urban green spaces, by urban green spaces, we, in, we intend, we include gardens, parks, greenways, shrubs, trees, grass, but also blue infra infrastructures. So we, we use, and in this project, we use uh, uh, urban green spaces in a Broader, uh, broader sense. Urban green spaces facilitate and encourage positive social interaction and that fosters social cohesion and in turn enhance health and well being. In these areas, people gather for leisure and recreational purposes. People who spend the majority of time indoors with a natural deficit have less opportunities for social engagement and have a reduced potential to develop a social cohesion. So we can represent this link with an arrow or also in a circle. Literature review show that the presence and the quality of urban green spaces influence positively social cohesion, such as the sense of community. Study also show positive effect. I, I know that you already afforded uh, face this topic in a previous academy. So uh, positive effect on urban uh, of urban green spaces on uh, uh, specific health challenges related, for instance, to obesity, stroke, cognitive decline, and on, also on health-related behaviors, such as smoking, alcohol and drug consumption, and also the access to preventive health service, prevention health services. The urban green spaces have a relevant impact on resident well-being. According to the European Environment Agency, every 10% increase in green spaces has been associated with an increase of five years of life expectancy. The length of life is important. As I said, we probably appreciated very much in this last year, but what about the quality of life? Evidence show that um, to have access to natural environments improve individual and community well-being. No doubt about this. Some authors summarize the main factors that relate urban green spaces to social interaction and consequently to social dimension of health. These are open parks designed to encourage active recreational activities, the av availability of the sidewalks, improve access, access to parks through quality of the transportation options, shade areas that support the relaxed environment, functional playgrounds, and the extent of organized activities. Two authors, Jennings and Bancole, developed a conceptual framework to illustrate the relationship between cultural ecosystem servicing from urban green spaces and social cohesion with social uh, and health outcomes. 
where social determinants of health are an overarching domain that includes the condition of the people living, work, learn, and play. The present uh, and or access to urban green spaces stimulate activities that contribute to enhance various health benefits. So in this framework, you can see how the present and the access to urban green spaces are linked to social cohesion that include the social capital. That is the reason that I try to develop these two very important concepts. And that affect the pot that produce potential outcomes like place attachment, social support, belonging. Belong. And these enhance physical and behavioral responses and also benefits to physical and psychological health, and in turn to individual and social well being. How to improve well-being with the help of urban spaces? I'm sure that uh, the speaker that follows uh, will go in depth with uh, some example, but just have a, an overview. Example of a successful green and open spaces reveals some surprising strategies to incorporate opportunities for recreation, leisure, entertainment, social interaction, access to nature, seclusion, or seclusion, I'm not so sure about the pronunciation, that is a self-exclusion. We will come back to this uh, word later. Urban green spaces can host different uh, uh, activities. So in order to produce positive effect on, on uh, human health and well-being, open spaces should design to be compatible with human activities. For example, if an open space was intended to increase the physical exercise, it would require a different design than an open space intended to promote local um, horticultural activities, um, community gardens, for instance. Activities that target by the open spaces described in literature consisted of exercise, horticulture, journaling, mindfulness journeys, observation of nature or art, and socialization, formal, informal, games, playfulness. So we can have educational activities, physical activities, cultural, community program, but also mental health and addiction treatment in urban green spaces. But what I'm a sociologist, so for me, it's really important that all these activities hosted in urban green spaces can reduce social exclusion, inequality, and also antisocial behavior and also can increase the sense of security. To me, these are the most important result when a municipality uh, pay attention to uh, the, 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 the urban green spaces, the quality and the quantity of uh, um, them. I give you a few examples that I found from literature to uh, support what I uh, talk about. This is an experience, uh, the, the name of the project is Green Gym. Uh, it is run by a charity, by voluntary, in the um, uh, Sunning Common, a, a, a town in the Oxfordshire in the UK. Um, the, the project uh, uh, is aimed especially to all the people, to people in pension, retired, and they work in many different locations in town and outside the town. And uh, the tasks vary with the location. Uh, they have a timetable for the morning. The day starts at 9.30 and end at 12.30. Um, 
Children are also welcome when accompanied by adult and the children's tools are also provided. So each section is led by two uh, team leaders who are responsible for the smooth running of the session. All the sessions follow the same uh, format or timetable uh, that you can see in, um, in the slide. So tool talk, the safe, uh, um, endly and the correct use of tools are discussed and they talk about the aim of the day too. And then they have the warm up session, exercise to prepare muscles for activity and reduce the risk of injury. And then they have the first work section, one hour and a half. Work section always have light and heavy tasks. So there is something to do for everybody. Uh, they try to do most of the activities by hand to burn calories and to get the blood flowing. Then they have a refreshment. Refreshment is a moment also for chatting and for, for exchange um, adventure or other talks. And then another hour and a half hour of the work section. Then they, uh, um, uh, they uh, gather up tools. They check if all the tools uh, are returned. And uh, finally, cool down exercises to prevent the stiffness. The same project as another um, uh, place, for instance, they carry another site, they carry out a task in the school ground and on sign parents, teachers, and some children. For instance, recently they have made a forest walk and built an amphitheater for the children. The grounds of the primary school have areas of shrub, which the green gym volunteers helped to convert into woodland trails. What I like of this project is that in addition to improving fitness, the participants value the scheme as a means of enhancing mental well-being, being stimulated by nature and enjoying social contact as a flexible way in which to attain a valued productive role. This is very important for retired people to perceive this, themselves as active or still active. The flexibility and diversity of tasks at the Green Gym suggest that it has, it has the potential to enable occupational deprived, individual, the, deprived individuals, including those who have experienced social exclusion. So, from my point of view, this kind of project are very important in terms of health promotion, of course, but mainly or even more, in my opinion, uh, to prevent social exclusion and all the consequences of the social exclusion in terms of the mental health, but also in terms of the poverty and other um, antisocial behaviors. I know that there are uh, Polish uh, people uh, in the floor, so I, I, I'm sure that I don't pronounce uh, correctly the name of this park, the Mokotowski Field Park in Warsaw, in a big town like Warsaw. The park was, this is an, a completely different example that I uh, chose. The park was a, a, an airport until the end of the Second World War. Now it is a public space that encourages diff different form of use. The park today often um, is, is used like a, a free space by uh, the inhab inhabitants of Warsaw. 
It is a gathering point for different forms of, of user. It is a space where one can see people doing Tai Chi, football, uh, uh, other spontaneously activities. But it is also a space for seclusion, for calmness, as well as one can stay alone. But also it's a place where the municipality, the, the, the different groups of citizens can organize educational events like the Heart Day celebration, for instance, sports events like marathons, cultural and social events like campaign for conscious parenting or Polish Indian Friendship Day but also artistic and cultural events like Juvenilia, the annual university student concerts. I would like to conclude with an example ca coming from uh, my town where I live in the northwest of uh, Italy, a small town, uh, the name is Cuneo. And this is the food forest and community garden that is just a few kilom kilometers from where uh, I live and from where today I'm talking to you. Um, my, um, uh, the, 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 my friends, I can say, uh, some years ago they decided to um, project a food forest in the town, in a suburb um, with many popular buildings. Uh, there, there, there was, they found a small piece of land between the uh, between buildings and they built this uh, uh, food forest with uh, fruit, fruit trees planted by residents for all residents. So it is possible to uh, go there and just to taste and to, uh, to pick the fruit up. And then they project and built community gardens, 14 community gardens. Um, each uh, um, person can um, cultivate a small uh, garden uh, following common and agreed rules. But recently what happened was that they did a survey among the gardeners. And what emerged that I found very interesting was the desire not only to cultivate uh, the small personal uh, vegetable garden, but to cultivate a um, piece of land together without uh, sharing. So all people working together, you have here the map of the um, one of the common vegetable garden. And so they project where to plant and what to plant, but mainly the vegetables were for everybody who participated at the cultivation. This was just to bring you a little bit with me today. To conclude, I would say that the urban green spaces are also places where one can escape, have a rest. This is the concept of exclusion, self-exclusion. So we don't, social cohesion is really important. Green spaces are spaces for social cohesion, for increasing social capital, but also for escape, ever rest, find a, size, find a silence. And so also to have to, to, to be source of inspiration and beauty, markers of a personal and collective identity, memory of territory and transition. So open green spaces are all, are all these and have all these function all together. So thank you for your attention and my wishes to all of you, all the participants today for more green spaces in your town, for more well-being for our residents. Thank you very much.